It's not too early to start voting because it's a really big debate in our newsroom. Is a bagel a sandwich? Hey, good day, everyone. It's Saturday, January 11th, 2020. Let's take a live look outside over Wilmington, Delaware. You know, our director, Ben, has to pick a Delaware camera to start this show off on this Saturday. A Saturday, Jeff Robbins, where we're going to get up into the 60s. This is kind of amazing, and I'm actually liking it. January in the 60s. We're going to talk about it right now, Jeff. Yes. Happening now on Wednesday, just this week, we saw snow squalls all across the Delaware Valley. Scenes like this one playing out. Three days later, here on Saturday, temperatures in the 60s, feeling more like spring. Record warmth is here. Today will be the best day to be outside. Kelly Rule is already out there near the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Kelly, what's up? I am uh, not wearing the proper footwear today. I have boots on and the photojournalist behind the camera, Aaron, said, you were in a walking boot last year. I did fracture my ankle last oh, year. He was right. like, we don't need we don't need to see that again no on my TV. No we don't injury. need to put you back in a boot. But we'll see. I don't know. How about we'll you see. just cheer like I said, for them? The you warm weather be, just motivates you. Be moral support. Just cheer them along. That's the best thing you can do, Cal. That I can do. <laughs> yep. All right. Enjoy the warmth. <laughs> 705 this morning, offering condolences to those who lost loved ones in a plane crash this week. Iran's Supreme Leader is calling for an investigation after an Iranian state TV report claims Iran unintentionally shot down the Ukrainian jetliner that went down Wednesday because of, quote, human error. Iran state TV says the military mistook the plane for a hostile target as it turned toward a sensitive military area. Developing in southwest Philadelphia, police need your help finding a man they say has been missing for about two weeks now, and they believe he may be in danger. 20-year-old Jimmy Mao was last seen on December 29th, around 9.30 in the morning, leaving his house, which is located on Angora Terrace. Well, he never came back. Then on January 7th, his family started receiving text messages from an unknown person saying they know where he is. Investigators say they can't confirm it's a ransom, but they are investigating this as a kidnapping. Everyone knows here in Philly, we love our sports, right? Whether we're taking in a game at the Link, Citizens Bank Park, or the Wells Fargo Center, our fandom is a point of pride. But there's a new sport in town hoping to grab your attention, and it doesn't involve a field or a ball. We're talking esports, video games, a major tournament underway, really with some of the best gamers in the world, and a former Philadelphia Eagle. Brad Satin has that story. Two Philadelphia schools closed because of asbestos will reopen next week. Carnell Elementary and Oxford Circle will reopen on Monday, and McClure in Hunting Park will reopen Wednesday. But pre-K classes will not pick up again until the 21st. Before winter break, officials found asbestos and pipe insulation at both of those schools. But the district says all the repairs are complete. More testing will be done this weekend just to make sure it is safe. Take a look at your screen. Police in Bethlehem Township want to know who this woman is. They say she robbed a bank yesterday morning. These surveillance photos are from just before noon at the BB&T Bank on Emmerich Boulevard. Police tell us the woman passed a note to the teller, got some cash, and drove off in a gray SUV. Nobody was hurt, but anyone with information should contact police. Welcome back. You're watching Good Day Philadelphia Weekend. We are heated over here with a great debate about a bagel being a sandwich. Jeff and I have very strong opinions. People upstairs uh, in the control room have strong opinions as well. We'll talk about it more, but go vote uh, on our website or Facebook page. Let's take a live look outside at Redding right now. 53 degrees, Jeff, the slow creep up to the 60s on this Saturday. Okay, there's some controversy surrounding Senator and Democratic presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren this morning. It has nothing at all to do with politics, her stances on any issues, mm. money, any of that. It's all about her skincare routine. So in an interview with Cosmopolitan, when asked about her routine, she said she only uses Pond's moisturizer. She does not wash her face ever. Here's a look at the conversation between Warren and Cosmopolitan's editor-in-chief. Warren went on to say that she uses it every morning and every night and never washes her face. She credits an aunt for that advice after she admired her skin, asked her what her secret was. Of course, now those comments have social media talking. So this one, Erin says, oh, she says, once again, Elizabeth Warren is correct. I don't wash my face with soap or cleanser. Just let cold water run over my face for the last minute of showers. If I'm exceptionally dirty, I'll wipe my face off with a baby wipe or use a cotton ball to remove eye makeup. We are legion. 
Robin says, Elizabeth Warren's skin looks great. It would probably look really great no matter what she did to it. I have a lot of skincare products that I love, but for real, I could probably wash my face with tomato sauce and be fine. It's straight up genetics. Okay, listen, genetics only go so far. I mm. feel like mm -hmm. when you're outside on certain days, doesn't your skin just feel dirty? No, I, no it doesn't. I mean, my, my hands feel dry sometimes on certain days. Here's what I do. One, one of the viewers commented, and they said that they wash in the shower. And I'll wash my face in the shower, but yes, I'll rinse off with cold water because it closes the pores. And I haven't had a pimple since, and that was like 20 years ago. I need clarity. Do you wash your face? In the shower. Soap as well. No, no, soap and water. Okay. And then, but then I, when I go to the sink afterwards, I put cold water on my face to close the pores. Okay, so Ben, our director, says that he is in the same camp as Elizabeth. He does not wash his face. Here's what you guys need to know. Ben, like, bikes, walks, skateboards all the way over the bridge to Jersey, and you don't wash your face when it sweats? Okay, so he I, says, I don't perspire, though. He sh you don't? Never. You have skin. You, you uh, sweat. Okay. Crystal used to think I didn't sweat either. She witnessed it in a workout class once. You sweat somewhere on your yeah, body. Yeah, but then I go and shower. It's but not water, like I just work uh, water I just, alone doesn't do the trick. I don't know. Soap and water. I, I know. I, shower. I get it. Ben, yeah. though, says he doesn't use soap. He just uses water. You see how good looking Ben is? I wish we could put a picture up there. Yeah, Ben told us he was five when the NSYNC song Bye 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 came out. We don't care what Ben has to say. He's got a baby face, <laughs> and we know why. Okay, let us know what you think. No soap, soap. I, per I mean, we have to. I don't know. I use makeup. I have to use it, so mm. I, I don't know. Oof. If you need some inspiration for a home improvement project, the Pennsylvania Convention Center is the place you need to go to this weekend. The Philly Home Show is in full effect. Our Jen Fred has a preview. Okay, it takes our viewers to notice something like this. So Mike sent us in this shout out saying that the sunrise was beautiful. He was watching Good Day and Eric looked at the TV, circled it and called him out. <laughs> Not so sure Mike's actually watching us. We'll take that up with him later. Um, Jeff's going to have your full weather forecast coming up in 15 seconds. Oh, now. No, no, I'm having it now. We already did that. We already did that. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. It's okay. Oh, man. All right. We'll enjoy today for what it so is. Far. Look, 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 look. Yeah, it does look good for January. All right, Jeff, thanks so much. Is a bagel a sandwich? The answer seems obvious until you actually start to really think about it, and then you might change your mind. Well, the New York State Department of Taxation has clarified the matter. The agency issued an entire tax bulletin that defines the sandwich once and for all, they say sandwiches include hot and cold of every kind, prepared and ready to be eaten, whether made on a bread, bagel, rolls, pitas, wraps, otherwise, and regardless of the filling or the number of layers. So we asked you what you thought, yes or no, or it depends on what is in it. So 58% of you says it depends on what's in it. Kelly Rule is live at Need Bagels in Old City where this heated debate continues. Kelly, I am team, not a sandwich. A bagel is a bagel and it is not a sandwich.